Namaste and welcome to another video on POV style of street photography, riding my bicycle and exploring the beautiful town of Lalitpur. So currently I am at uh, the Banglamukhi road and uh, directly in front of me is the temple of Banglamukhi. It's early in the morning, it's 5.30 in the morning and uh, we can see people washing cloth, doing laundry. This is the traditional stone water spout and uh, right next to it is the Banglamukhi temple door and uh, we can see some women selling some butter lamp so moving up from the Banglamukhi road up the road towards uh, the golden temple uh, we can see some historical buildings this is a nice location for a photograph with the rain earlier this morning I like the reflection and uh, here is the entrance of the famous golden temple in Patan so heading up the road from Banglamukhi this is the road towards Patan Darbar Square on my left Right next to the road, I can see some women selling some flower and vegetables. And this road leads to the bazaar area of Patan. And uh, a beautiful temple, a stone temple, truly a masterpiece. So heading up this street, I can see many temples by the roadside and uh, it's a really beautiful morning cloudy but uh, with a chance of sunshine heading up on my left is the temple of Bungdia or in other words Ratu Machindranath of Patan up the streets of the old town Patan, I have now reached Ring Road and uh, I will be taking the road towards Chapagaon. So taking the road on my right from the Ring Road towards Chapagaon, it's turning out to be a beautiful morning. Uh, the clouds are parting away revealing beautiful blue sky a beautiful green space with a lot of greenery and uh, the morning light really makes it magical I am heading up these streets from the ring road up towards a old historical town of Techo. So I'm entering the old town of Techo and I can see a lot of old buildings. beautiful alleyways and uh, many stupas and chaityas so on the way I can see a group of men singing and chanting Thank you. 
moving up the street I can see new buildings next to old buildings old historical buildings and a lot of people singing and chanting really love the ambience here What are you doing? What are you doing? The sky has cleared up, revealing blue sky, a beautiful blue sky. I can see a lot of old houses, historical houses, and uh, many stupas, Buddhist chaityas, right by the street. These stupas, old historical buildings, are in a dire need of renovation. Many of these old Newari historical towns are dotted with beautiful ponds. Heading up the main road, on my right, you can see yet another pond with a temple for Buddha. So the monsoon is finally coming to an end and uh, it's uh, the month of Kunla, a holy month for Newa Buddhists when they recite the scriptures, observe fast and visit places of worship playing devotional music. Right next to the pond, I can see a beautiful green house with a beautiful wooden window and door. Heading up the street, a grandfather and a lovely little grandson walking up the street really caught my attention. Up the street of Chapa Gaon, you 
and see traditional old houses beautiful old houses and uh, by the side we can see people singing and chanting and I really like the warm sunshine it's a beautiful morning let's take a photo from this angle really like the warm tone in this photograph early morning hustle and bustle of the old town of Chapagao. I really like the ambience of Chapagao. It has that typical old town vibe, old town charm. Moving up the street, I can see a lot of shops typical old shop selling sweets and uh, typical breakfast food and I asked around if I can take a picture and she happily replied <laughs> Along the way, I came across many ponds, some large and some small. up from the roads of Chapagao, I am now moving towards Tikavera. The road up from Chapagao is all muddy. The road is under construction and uh, with the recent rainfall, the road is all slippery and muddy. Heading up the road, it's an uphill climb the new road being constructed, cutting through the mountain. This mountain, with a beautiful forest, is known as Ananda Ban, where Ban is forest, and Anand is relaxing.
So heading down from the muddy road, it's all downhill from here. You can see the road is not in a very good condition with the recent rainfall and the heavy downpour with the monsoon. There's a lot of landslide, a lot of rocks falling. Many sections of this road is dotted with landslide, big boulders coming all the way up from the mountain, crashing down on the road below. After heading down the slippery road, in the distance is the entrance to a beautiful village of Lele. And I'm going to take the road on my right, heading down towards Tikavaira. So after cycling for almost 20 kilometers up through some beautiful old towns, I have now reached a historical location of Tikavaira. And uh, in the distance, we can see the temple of Tikavaira. And uh, a friendly little dog comes right next to me, so I offer him some warm marpa for breakfast. The historical temple of Tikavaira is alongside the bank of a junction between two rivers. So from Tikavaira, I'm taking the road on my right and uh, this road will lead me towards Vaisipati. Alongside the road, I come across beautiful green space with corn fields in the foreground, rice fields in the midground, and in the background, the hill of Anandaban.
It's a beautiful morning for cycling today. Heading up through this road, I come across some beautiful green space with green pastures of rice field and uh, towering mountains in the distance with low-lying beautiful clouds. With the monsoon season almost over, I guess the trekking season is finally here. Today's cycling and uh, POV style of street photography session alongside some beautiful old towns and uh, beautiful countryside landscapes surrounding me. It was truly relaxing and uh, I really enjoyed it. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you liked it. And uh, with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching and namaste.